Hello everyone, it's Forza Dave here and welcome back to Psychonauts. Today we are in uh Videlo's mind. Is it Videlo? I think it's called I think I think I think her name's Videlo. Uh and this is kind of groovy. I'm quite liking this already. Uh we're gonna be learning uh how to levitate today. Getting our new power. So we previously learned how to fire shit. Um now we can levitate. Ooh, that's how we do it. On here. Okay, so we get on like this ball and we jump. Oh wow, that's awesome. So I'm guessing we can just like run and jump over this now. Let's go! Whoa, that's long. Oh god. Try using your thoughts. Oh, so you're using your like thoughts. That's your thing that you're standing. It's like a thought ball. How do we do it then? Oh god, I don't know what that's gonna be. Everything's on the keyboard controllers. It doesn't tell you how to do it on a on a controller. So anyway, we go on here. Yeah, it's not that. Uh, left shift. I don't know if that's a thing. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I figured out how to do it now. So it's the left trigger. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Run. We can make it. We can make it. Ooh, no. We did it too early. We did it too early. Okay. Don't worry. We can get back up. We have a second try. Okay. Take a good take a good line out. Oh, there's a figment here as well. I may as well grab that. Gotta to remember to grab those figments. Oh, here's one of the guys you can use to like travel as well. So that's quite cool. Okay, here we go. Line up, run, and jump, and yeah, there we go. Nice. I'm loving this level. I love this ability. I feel like we're really getting into this game now. I always find when I let's play games, when I even just play games at all, um, it takes a little bit to just kind of get into them, like the, to get into the story and the, the kind of meat of the, um, uh, of like the abilities and stuff you can do in the game. But now I'm really seeing why why people love this game because it's just such a solid platformer. Um, what's down here? Uh, we got a web, uh, which we don't have a duster. We should probably go into some levels and try that duster. Um, that's all we've got. So let's jump back up. Okay, so we've got a. I didn't even know what um what the objective was. I completely missed that. Um, get up to the top floor of this crazy club. Okay. Oh, what's gonna be going on in here then? Stay on the ball in here, Rasputin, if you want to get higher, and see if you can get all those rings spinning, Mr. DJ. Well, oh, what the hell? Okay, we're gonna get all the rings spinning. Oh my God, it's we're on like a half pipe. The platforming in this game is just so brilliant. Oh, there we go. We did it. Just really you clever little little fl ball, platforming darling. elements. It makes me want to play you. some. It reminds me of some really old platformers that I used to play, times. which kind of makes sense, seeing as this is quite an old platformer. It reminds me of the old Rayman games, um, like Rayman Two, Rayman Three. Absolutely brilliant games. I'll probably have to play them sometime. That'll probably be something on my list of games I need to play. Uh, okay, can we get off here? Uh, can we get up? Nice. Okay. We have to jump from here to here. Nice. That's one. And good. Continue up. Jump. Jump. Oh, we're doing this brilliantly. It'd be great. It'd be horrible if I fell right now. Fantastic. What, style what is that? Now I'm not saying that you will fall, but if you ever did, I'll put a ball return down here for you. Just jump in there if you need to come back up here in a hurry. Oh, that's cool. So if we get on our ball, it will like launch us up to that platform we're on at the moment. So we've got to get in there, I'm guessing. Okay, let's use the side float and see if we can get in. Oh, nice. Oh. Surprised that worked. I'm guessing there's going to be another. Oh, okay, so we stand on it and it makes. Okay, I get it now. So when we stand on this button, it produces one of those like ball things that we want to stand on. Wow, this is going to take us right up to the top. Look at the crowd. Things that see that draft up above, darling. Jump into it. I'm guessing it'll push you across. What's up there, though? 
Anything up here? Why would we want to come up here? Doesn't look like there's any reason. Maybe just to get a better jump. Okay, side float. Oh, we did that way too late. Shit. Uh, get down. Nice. Okay, so if we jump on here. Get in. Get in. Get in. Oh, I can't get in. Go. There. Oh, where do we go? Okay, so it puts us up here. That's a really cool mechanic. I really like that. And there we go. That's better. Oh, and we got the steamer trunk tag as well. Is this ladder spinning? Ooh, that, was, that, that was kind of creeping me out. I couldn't really, I couldn't really get that in my head. Ooh, where are we now? Oh wow, it's like a, a plink. It was like a plinko machine. I think it's plinko. It's like the thing in the arcade. Yeah. Um, what is it? The thing in the arcade. I think it's, it's like plinko or pim. It's like and pinball. Makes it, oh, there was a tag. There was a tag. I don't really care. I need to get the tag. Oh uh, no. There's a tag. I need that. What is that? Oh, it's a sensor. It's a sensor. Whoa, where are we? Oh, here we go. We're going. Ugh. Wow. Well, I lost track of what was going on there. Oh, we got a nice ball return system. Okay. Jump. Oh, wow. We got some... Got some grinding to do. Here we go. Speedy, speedy, speedy. There we go. Now we got a platform we can jump onto. Which, where was it? Where was it? I completely lost where that platform was. Oh, it's over there. Is this faster than running? No, I think it's the exact same, but I'm pretty sure if you jump, it might be a bit faster. Actually, I think it's just the same speed. Okay. So it's here, isn't it? Ooh, have we got the thing for this? Yes, we do. That was the one we found downstairs. Cool. Still have no idea what these are for, but I may as well collect them while I can. Yay! Okay, come on, come down so we can jump on you. That's our cool figment, just a man. A man, like, jumping. Okay, jump. Ah, I really like this ability. Like the pyroblast and the um, the shooting, but obviously the shooting ability is just pretty like a it's like a staple ability. Uh, but I just really like the ability here; it's really cool. Uh, I'm getting across to there. In we go! Oh, figments, figments galore! Shoot up all of the sensors! Oh no, no, no! Exploder bots, exploder brains, or something, whatever they are. Oh, nice, we've got a, um, another one of these, something to do with Mila. Something probably won't end up looking at forever, but, you know, we've got to grab it. We've got to grab them while we can. Oh, okay, here we go. I was like, where do we have to go? And then I didn't realize you could climb on the side here. This is so trippy. I so badly want them, want them to make a new one of this. That'll probably be something I'll say plenty of times throughout this, because I'll forget, but... Um, what is this? You are also protected from all sorts of icky things. But oh, wow. Like those spikes, those are always bad news. Whether you are levitating what is or this? not. So watch your mouth. That should oh. be happening. Darling, do you have some problems with water? Okay, so that's water. That's like it's a long story. slimy sludge. Okay. I'm always here for you, darling. Let me just say that is fire, boring. obviously, and that's electricity. I don't know why I couldn't think there, but if we're on the ball, we're protected. Cool. Oh, so many figments. Come here, figments. Yeah, I'm so surprised. I'm going to come back to just saying this. I'm so surprised this game has, is so underrated. And I, I'm surprised I haven't played it because I mean, I've played Super Mario 64, Banjo-Kazooie, Rayman, more Mario games, you know, Mario Sunshine. I've played all of those kind of games. But what I haven't played is this. And it's bloody brilliant. Like, I'm absolutely loving it. Okay, I'm guessing we can jump to here. There we can. And I think that's going to stop me if I try. So I need, I'm guessing I need to jump over it. Luckily, I think I've got the, I've got the ball return system at the bottom. So, oh, come on. Oh, I'm really bad at things like that. Moving platform sections is not my thing. Okay, let's jump to here. Uh, we've got two places we can go now. 
Um, oh, there's something we want to get. I think we've got the thing. I think we've got the tag for that. Yes, we do. Yay, we've got another one. We are making progress today. I'm loving it. We are absolutely we're making tons of progress. Jump. Oh my god, I'm not going to make that, am I? Okay, we've got a ball return system, so we're okay. Wait, where is the ball return system? If we go down here, will it? Is that all the way up to the top? I can't actually remember now. Oh yeah, it is. No, it isn't. It's back to here. Fuck. So we have to go... Well, we have to get back up again. Damn it. That's a bit annoying. Oh well, I can do it again. Just waiting. There we go. I think I'm underestimating how far you can go with this thing. I just think it's really cool how they could have put, like, some random levitating system, like, just, like, uh, maybe, like, a triple jump or something. But no, like, every single... Uh, every single ability has some sort of cool thing about it. Like, they've put... The levitation ability is you're standing on a ball. Like, that is just cool. I'm pressing the wrong button. I was really confused there. Oh, some sensors spawned. Okay, we're at the top floor of the crazy club. Beat stupid Bobby Zilch okay. in the levitation. Oh my god, we get to do a race. This is so cool. Go, baby, go. Okay, I'm guessing we want to hit all the checkpoints. Because they give you... Oh, there's a little thing on the side. Oh my god, this is absolutely brilliant. This is just the perfect platformer. Yeah, this reminds me so much of like Rayman, uh, Rayman Hoodlum Havoc. Rayman 3, basically. It's really, really weird. Like, Rayman 2 is kind of like, of course it's, it's fictional, so it's, it's very fictional and nothing's like realistic at all, but Rayman 2 kind of has a very, very serious tone to it, whereas Rayman 3 is kind of a bit more playful, like this game. And so this reminds me so much of it. We are dominating this race. Is Bobby Zilch the dude with the like, poo hair. If so, I really, really want to beat him because, I mean, who likes him? Oh, right, let's go. Jump. Oh, he's actually catching up. Shit. Oh, he did not do that jump right. We're still ahead, though. Just dodge through these. Don't hit them. Nice. Oh, there's a little shortcut on the right there. That would have been cool if I could go through that. Oh, getting through the shoes. Oh, there's some really cool little... I bet there's, like, some really cool secrets going down here. I think we're about to win anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's some really cool secrets throughout this race. Feels like I'm playing SSX, actually. It's like a weird version of, uh, of SSX. <laughs> which is a snowboarding game, if you guys didn't know. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I beat you. I beat you. Oh, we're still going. I don't want to leave this level. I'm loving it here. Oh, no. What's going on in here? Lots and lots of floating. Man, this, is, this, is, this is the challenge room, isn't it? This really is. Okay, let's get in the half pipe. Well, here we go. So we beat so-and-so at the, at the race. Okay, where do we have to go then? Over to here. Seems like a good place to start. And up to here. If you float in some areas, you might get a little more oomph than usual. Oh, this is really cool. How long can we hold on to one of these? Or is it just until we hit the floor? This once again is like Rayman. Um, if you haven't played Rayman, he's like got these. His hair can like turn into a um. Uh, can turn into like a helicopter and he can float. That's exactly what this feels like. Okay, what does this do then? Oh, that activates the big one in the middle. Now you're going to have to use your side float again to get those rings spinning. Okay, where's the rings? Oh Jesus, we've got to go all the way across there. Here we go! There we go, got one. Oh, this is easy. This is easy! There we go. Easy as pie. Is that a is that a thing you say? Easy as pie? Easy as chips. No, that's cheap as chips. I don't know. 
Oh, what's that up there? I want to get that. That is something I have not seen before. Aggressive capacity increased. You may store more side blast shots now. Oh, okay, so it's a uh, bigger mag, I guess you could say, if you're going to be talking like Call of Duty talk. Um, and there's a thing which I think I might have a tag for. I don't. Oh, I do. It's like, how have I missed one? I'm pretty sure I've like 100 percented this area. This is one of the kind of areas which I just love to try and 100% because the way you do everything is so fun. Burst our way out. Oh, there, there she is. We've almost made it. I'm coming. Hello. Who's that I see? Hello. Rasputin, the rolling rock star in the flesh. And just in time, the party was I feel like this whole area is just like what you what you turn out in if you were in um if you were just so on drugs. Some really hard drugs. Oh nice, we got our levitation. We got the levitation bird, so we can use that wherever we want now. Uh, which means we can now head back into isn't it it's into our own mind. Uh so to um get to that place where Dogen was getting his his mind um shattered by a weird dentist person. Okay. Oh, there was some more stuff in that room, I think, though. I think I missed some stuff. Oh, well. I won't complain. Don't be a stranger, darling. Thank you, Agent Vodello. Now it's back to the lab to save Dogen. Dogen's not in the lab, sweetie. He's watching TV in the lodge with the other children. Yes, but his brain has been removed. I meant the dream Dogen from my brain tumbler vision. If I can find out what's happening to him, maybe that would give me a clue about who stole real Dogen's brain. To us, I probably wouldn't be going around telling everyone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is. He is a bit weird, isn't he? Um, but anyway, guys, I'm going to end this one here because that seems like a pretty good place to just you know call it finished. In the next one, we're going to be heading back to the Brain Tumbler and heading back into our own mind. And we're going to see what the hell is going on in that big, uh, like, viney tree thing. So um, if you've enjoyed, make sure you smash the like button, leave a comment below. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.